All right, everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my Modern Warfare PC beta settings. All right. I've seen a couple comments asking to show this. So aiming input device, obviously controller, that's what I use. Button layout. I'm tactical. I like tactical. I've always played tactical in every single Call of Duty. It's just what I feel comfortable with. And that's how I learned. Actually, fun fact, Modern Warfare 2, the original one. The original Modern Warfare 2 is my first Call of Duty. And that's where I learned to drop shot. And using tactical was... How to accomplish that without you know taking your thumb off the controller all right so basically you see the green uh thumbstick that's what i use if i need to drop shot or i need to slide or anything like that chain stance uh crouch so that's what i'm using and then we switch that one with uh melee so that's the b button that's what happens when you change your uh controller layout to tactical so again this is just a personal preference all right with everything else i have this on off stick layout is default controller vibration i have this off just to save some battery and then also it does kind of um you know take away from the gunfight experience you know when your control is vibrating you know it kind of distracts you i'm all about the focus when it comes to the gunfights and then for my stick sensitivity i'm using six by six do not copy this i want you to go into a match and mess around with different uh sensitivity settings because my sensitivity is not going to be comfortable for you so i mean if it is then you know more power to you ads sensitivity multiplier this is also very important you do want to tweak this uh if you have it up too high then you may find that when you're aimed down sights you know your uh your crosshairs are just moving too fast so you know tweak this for me i i bumped it down to 0 0.80 sensitivity multiplier i don't have anything changed here uh vertical aim axis nothing changed aimed on sight behavior nothing changed here so automatic sprint this is a little uh tip and trick that i have for you guys when it comes to sprinting and modern warfare it's a very fast-paced game obviously or at least i mean with the double sprint it encourages you to but you know, we're not going to get into that but the automatic tactical sprint is what i have it on here and I like this because it preserves my thumbs from having to constantly click down on my left thumbstick. This is literally a game changer and it also preserves the life of your controller. So don't knock it till you try it. Just turn automatic tactical sprint on and, uh, you know, thank me later. Come back to this video. Uh, everything else, I believe it is left by default. All right, now let's go to advanced. Target aim assist, obviously I have it on. I mean, why would I want to purposely miss my shots? And then aim assist type, I have it on default as well. Aim response curve, I have it on standard. <clears throat> I do have a couple friends that do recommend the black ops. Uh, but, you know, I didn't really see a, uh, any big difference. I mean, you could try it if you want. Uh, and then aim response curve, kept it on standard. You can play around with this stuff. You know, th this is all personal preference, what you're used to. Uh, here in the aiming section, it's kept relatively normal i didn't change anything input dead zone is something you do want to uh, tweak with don't copy my settings because what input dead zone is it basically helps mitigate stick drift all right if you have a very old controller which i actually had in the ps4 beta i had to turn on my stick drift all the way it was my right stick that kept on dragging my uh, crosshairs because the the controller is just so old that's just what happens over time so uh, you do want to mess around with the right stick and the left stick, okay? So keep that in mind and then, you know, just tweak it while you're in game so you can see how much your crosshairs move while you're not touching the controller. That's the important thing. So that's how that's how you mess with uh, the input dead zone. Uh, sprint tactical sprint behavior, all right? So this one is on toggle. So uh, this one goes hand in hand with my automatic sprint where I don't have to press the uh, the left stick. Uh, to go ahead and run uh, toggle is basically you just move it forward so that's pretty much all you have to do if you want to stop it stops uh tactical sprint behavior is double tap but i think since we have automatic sprint this is kind of irrelevant but that's just what i have ground mantle i have that off as well uh anything else here everything else is pretty basic yeah sorry guys i'm just kind of making sure i didn't switch anything here i mean feel free to copy this if you want to but I mean, this is all personal preference at the end of the day. This is just beta settings, guys. I'm coming out with a, a more advanced video later on uh, when the game actually comes out. Graphics, this is going to be what your PC is capable of doing. If you're a console player, disregard this part. I'm using full screen borderless. I mean, obviously a lot of people have different uh, preferences on what you should be using, but uh, I have dual monitors. So obviously I have my recording program to my left. So this is just a personal preference. If I need to stop recording, I need to be able to click the mouse instead of pressing the windows button to you know get 
out of the game. It's kind of annoying. So that's why I have full screen borderless. It just makes it easier for me. Uh, but you can use uh, full screen if you would like to. And here is my display adapter. This is my graphics card. Nothing special. It's literally a super old from 2018. So screen refresh rate, I just have it on whatever my monitor is capable of. Obviously, I don't get that because my PC is not as strong as it should to deliver those frames. But oh well. Uh, aspect ratio, I have this on automatic. V-Sync, I have this off. V-Sync off again. Uh, custom frame rate, I have that on. If you guys want to see what it is, probably should bump this down to 140 or something like that because, uh, yeah, I don't think my monitor is even capable of 250. Anyways, uh, brightness, I didn't mess with that. Focused mode, I have this off. Quality. I have this on recommended. You know, I don't really want to mess too much with uh, my hardware and stressing it out. Uh, but this is what I have. I just have it on recommended. So whatever I have here is going to be different settings for you guys. But like I said, I'm going to come out with an optimized uh, settings video highlighting, you know, how to get the best possible quality out of your game. I mean, this is just a beta right now. You know, all we care about is, uh, you know, the controller settings because we only have so much of a window of time to be, you know, messing around here. Anyways, view, fill of view, I have it on 120. This is just my personal preference. I'm taking full advantage of this so I can see more of the map when I'm running around. It gives you a huge advantage uh, versus somebody who's using like 80 field of view. Uh, ADS field of view is affected. Weapon field view is wide. This one's 80 for third person. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty basic. All right, audio. I have play audio test off. I got headphones. Master volume is on. Uh, normally, I would turn off music volume all the way to zero. So I can just, all I can hear is literally just the sounds from the game, like footsteps, um, you know, people using their equipment, maybe battle chatter. Music volume is that music that you hear in the beginning and the end of the game. Uh, so sometimes if you're like on a streak or you need to concentrate, that could be very distracting. So uh, I definitely turned this all the way down to a zero. So just like that. All right. Dialogue volume. I have this on. Effects volume is uh, all the way up. Hit marker volume all the way up. And uh, this is just for what kind of uh, uh, speakers you're using for your sound device. And then subtitles, I have that off. Voice chat. This is just irrelevant stuff right here, guys. All right, as for the interface menu, you can copy what I have here, but you know, like I said, mostly everything here is default. One thing I do want to talk about is the heads up display bounds as well as the horizontal heads up display. So it's actually really strange to me because usually they have like a little preview for you to adjust this, but it's basically your, your mini map, uh, you know, where your weapon ammo shows your health, etc., like all that kind of stuff. That is what this pertains to. So usually you want to have it as uh, scrunched up as possible. So you want to like lower this, you know, mess around with it, lower it. So you're not looking too far off to the left corner or the left bottom left corner, et cetera, et cetera. It just helps out, helps you stay focused in the middle of the monitor, which is where you should be focused at for possible gunfights or opponents. Uh, I didn't mess around with my stuff because I'm, I'm in a hurry to make content, you know, so I don't want to waste any time. we got to count down, you know, till this is over. So in the, when the main thing comes out, that's when I will be bumping this all the way down and taking it more seriously. Minimap shape is square. Minimap rotation on. Horizontal compass on. Crosshairs on. Hit marker visuals on. Yeah, all this stuff is uh, is definitely personal preference. Hopefully this video helped you out, get you on your way. I try to keep it as short and concise as possible. I understand you guys need to play some beta of Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe for future Modern Warfare 2 content. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it.